Okay, uh, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description or at the end of this video for the full playlist. We're looking at using a, a Wemos board and shield. I keep calling these modules, which they are, but I'm going to try to refer to them as shields because that's what they're normally referred to as. And as you can see, we've got our ESP8266 Wemos shield here, or board. And this is basically, uh, what this is, is it's a microcontroller. It costs about $3. Uh, and it has a Wi-Fi chip in it, an ESP8266 chip, which allows you to connect to Wi-Fi. It can connect to Wi-Fi, it can be an access point, and then it can work as a web client or host or other things you might do through a network. And the thing about the Wemos boards is that they uh, allow you to easily stack shields. So let me make sure I'm going to stack this up right. I'm going to look for a pin. So there's transmit there and the transmit pin here. So it goes this way and we'll go ahead and lock this in. So again, this is part of a series. I hope you checked out the previous videos. And we're gonna look at first just turning this relay on and off. And uh, we're going to do that, and then we'll get into connecting it to Wi-Fi and looking at the code. So here on my screen, I have uh, my GitHub page. Uh, so go to github.com forward slash melex1000, search repositories for hardware. So this is where all my hardware projects are for all my videos and go ahead and download this project. There will be a link in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded it, you can go inside this ESP8266 folder, and there there's a Wemos folder. And again, this is a Wemos board. This code will still work for any ESP uh, development board, as long as you hook up the pins the same. I just put them in a separate folder because they go along with this video series, and I want it to be easy for people following along in the video series to follow this. And again, I've done videos on relays before, and it's the same thing. It's just we're stacking a shield. Normally, you would have uh, your ground, your power, and then a signal thing. So you would connect three pins from one board to the other, and this just stacks it and makes it easier. So the first code we're going to look at is the Relay Basic. So go ahead and open up your Arduino uh, IDE, and here is the basic code. And I, I even left uh, left the you know the top comments here because this example is the one of the basic examples for blinking an LED. Uh, in this case, it would be the onboard LED. Although you can change that, you can see the blue LED here on the main board. But I've added to uh, GPIO pin uh, five to turn the relay on and off, which is the pin being used in this particular case with this shield. So let's quick look at the code. I'm going to make a constant integer. It's going to be a integer, a whole number that's not going to change. We're going to call it relay, and it's going to be five. Then under setup, we're saying set the built-in LED as an output, which means that we're going to be sending a signal to that pin instead of retrieving a signal. We're going to do the same for relay. So basically this line here is saying the same thing as if we put five here. But if you ever wanted to change the pin, that's, you know, using variables is a good idea. So we're going to set both the built-in LED pin and our relay pin to output. So we're going to be sending a signal. Then we're going to start our main loop here and we're going to set them both to low. Wait one second. So it's 1000 here is they're each a thousandth of a second. So a thousand of them would be uh, one second delay. And then we're going to set them both to high. Uh, and then we'll wait two seconds and then turn them off. Or so, wait, wait two seconds and then start the loop over again, which will turn them off. Wait a second. So it's going to turn them on and off. And you'll see them alternate. You'll see the LED on the board on and then the LED on the shield turn on when that one turns off. Now, with a for those of you who are not familiar with relays, uh, you've got a normally open, normally closed, and then you got your center line here. So basically, you're going to be hooking up two lines to this uh, in most cases. You're going to be hooking up uh, either to the center and the left or the center and the right. And the difference is when you turn on the, the transistor, the normally open, which is on this side, means when you turn it on, this is not going to be connected, but this side will. So if you want something to be on when there's being power sent to the relay, you hook it up on this side. Did I say that right? No. Yeah, on this side. And then the other side will open and close. Okay, let me, I explained that poorly. Basically, this is a switch. And it's going to connect the center line to either this side or that side. And it's going to do, whenever it's disconnecting from this side, it's connecting to this side. So all you have to do is, you know, know whether you want things to turn on or off when you're sending high or low. And technically you can hook up two things and have one thing turn on when the other thing turns off. At no point can you have both on or both off. Both off. I hope that made sense. Let me go, go ahead and upload this code. I'm going to hit this compile and upload. I'm going to hold down the reset button on the board and let go when it says upload. If you get an error like this, that means I didn't let go soon enough. 
Uh, so I'm gonna hold it, click that. As soon as it says upload, let go. And now it should start flashing it. Yep, it's uploading it. If you get an error, it's either because you didn't let go or didn't press that button at the right time, or you have the wrong port selected, or you don't have permissions for that port. But as you can see and hear, it turns this relay, it sends a signal to turn on. I'm gonna say on for two seconds and then it turns off and a second later, it turns back on again. So it's going back and forth. Again, I could hook up uh, high voltage stuff to this. Uh, if you read the top of this, it can take 10 amps or uh, 10 amps and 250 volts AC. So this is what you would use to connect high voltage stuff, light bulbs and stuff like that with a board like this. So that was simple enough, but we want to do a little more than just that. We have a Wi-Fi chip. Let's set this up so that with any device that has a web browser, we can send a signal to tell this one to turn on and off. And that's what we're gonna do in the next video. Again, this video is very basic. I just wanted to walk you through this code. It's gonna get uh, a bit more um, involved in the next video because we're gonna go over how to set it up as a server uh, yeah, as a server and we'll connect to it as a client and go from there. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out again the link to the full playlist in the description of this video. Also, you can should be at the end of this video in a couple of seconds. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link to that in the description as well as the source code. I thank you for watching as always. I hope that you have a great day.